Hey guys, today we're taking a look at the new Picklin Electo Red, the newest entry in the Picklin Electo series. This is a hybrid shaped paddle, so it's 16.3 inches in length and the width tapers from 7.7 .7 down to 7.5 inches. The handle length is 5.5 inches and the core thickness is 16 millimeters. For the swing weight, we got 116 and the twist weight, we got 6.70 which is around average in terms of those measurements for hybrid shaped paddles. This is the third entry into their Electo series, so the paddle will share the same dimensions as the previous blue and green models. It also uses the same full Kevlar face as the Electo Blue, but where it differs other than the color is the paddle construction. While it still uses hot mold thermoforming like the other Picklin paddles, with the Electo Red, they took a page out of Yola's Gen 3 construction and did something similar with adding another foam wall in the edges to try and mimic their trampoline effect. Though Picklin states that they do it slightly differently from Yola and do use less foam in their second foam layer to prevent compromising the honeycomb core. Now the big question is, how does this paddle compare to the Gen 3? Because the Electo Red is a significantly cheaper paddle at 109 after discount code, which is less than half the price of the Yola paddles. So far in my experience, not all paddles that utilize the Hyperfoam edge wall or a variation of it have been successful clones of the Yolas and have had noticeably less power. The Yola power paddles are at the top of the spectrum for both power and pop. They're stiff feeling paddles with some of the most firepower on the market right now, especially after they've broken in and had a chance to get more of a trampoline effect from the foam wall. Unfortunately, the Electo Red does fall in the same category as not being like the Gen 3s possibly because it does use less foam in the second layer, but it doesn't have the same levels of power and pop. Though I do think it does hit harder than most of the Gen 2 paddles on the market. Once the Electro Red is broken in a bit, I would place it at the bottom end of the power category spectrum and in the similar realm as Asparis Olympus for power. However, for the pop, it's one of the lowest out of the power paddles because it's a 16 millimeter paddle and because it utilizes a full Kevlar surface which none of the power paddles on the market currently use. Depending on how it's applied, Kevlar can provide a softer feel compared to carbon fiber. And in the case of how Picklin uses it, the Kevlar used in their Electo series has been known to give a softer and more muted feel. That said, I still consider the Electo Red a power paddle, just one that barely makes the cut. Now the Electo Blue and Green are in that all court leaning control category, and while those two have a pretty minor difference between each other, I would say that the Electo Red is noticeably more different than the other two. Compared to them, it's noticeably more powerful and I think the most difficult to use among the three. The blue is still the most control oriented, with the green not far behind, but I think the red is a great option to consider as an upgrade for more power because it's not as difficult to control like the Gearbox or Yola's and the plusher Kevlar feel it has gives you better touch than the other power paddles. As mentioned earlier, the Electo Red is also priced at 109 after a discount code, which is an insane price for a thermoform paddle on the market, especially one that does incorporate some additional tech. If you're looking for a slight step up in power from a Gen 2, the Electo Red is a fantastic option to consider, and one that I do recommend checking out, especially with its low price point. Also, I've mentioned this in previous reviews, but Picklin donates half of their profits to charitable causes, and in keeping with the spirit of the company, I also donate half of the commission I earn from them to these same charities, so you'll also be supporting a good cause with Picklin. If you do want to pick one up, I've added my discount code here and a link to buy them in the video description below.